I'm literally sitting on a plane right now between two sleeping passengers. And this is going to be episode 259 of Clarity Compressed. It's as much enthusiasm as I can get into my voice without feeling weird. And today we're going to talk about why I'm defining the arch nemesis of the 21st century. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. So I tend to get thinking when I'm on a plane and, you know, there's a, an element of disconnection that happens that, you know, it's just kind of an untethering. And I know there's internet access and I know that I could connect, but there's something about the wheels going up that allows me to reconnect with myself and my own thoughts, give me an opportunity to think a little more deeply. And today I was thinking about the, the I guess, the element of connection and I talk about it a lot, but as the conversation in culture seems to be swirling around technology. It seems to be swirling around things like chat GPT and AI generated imagery and AI generated text and chat and conversation. These are all things that would, you know, kind of hypothetically move us closer to connection or connect the dots anyway, I guess we could say. But what actually they pose a big threat is to that we begin to offload or begin to outsource that connection to the robots, to the technology, which is basically to the lie. Now, this isn't new, and I'm not like talking doomsday. I mean, this happened when um, we started any kind of media. Honestly, any kind of media can give you a fake sense of connection, like human to human connection, whether it is a shared experience via a show a radio show, a TV show, we share experience through a social media post that gives you kind of the bubble gum of connection. I liked, I commented maybe, and I feel like I'm a part of something. Now, I don't want you to get me wrong. I'm not saying those things are bad. I'm not saying those things can't generate a real sense of connection because they can, but only if it is augmented and followed through with an actual person-to-person, human-to-human connection, which is one of the reasons I think that uh, the new technology and chat GPT and all that really does pose a threat because it's easy to outsource that to the tech. So I do think that the nemesis, the arch enemy of the 21st century and every era has uh, every era has something that threatens to uh, threatens to take away a human element, threatens to be something that trips you up. And I think the arch nemesis of the 21st century is disconnection. I feel like the enemy is disconnection the enemy at the gate because there's no doubt and I don't think there's any coincidence that things like depression are vastly on the rise things like suicide are on the rise even amongst young kids and teenagers and it breaks my heart to even think about that but it's true that a a child an eight-year-old a 12-year-old a 15-year-old would be so hopeless that they would try to take their own life that they would become depressed that they were over medicate I mean, we can't get into it here, but the over-medication going on right now, again, I think we can draw a really straight line back to disconnection as the nemesis, because that is what happens when we become disconnected from life. That is what happens when we become disconnected from reality, get so tied up and so caught up in trying to keep up or thinking that our technology and our chatbots and our social media posts and likes and things like that are actually connection when actually it's like bubble gum. It's like bubble gum, honestly. You think about it, you put bubble gum in your mouth, your body starts generating saliva. It actually gets the enzymes going in your stomach, right? Which is why when you chew gum, you start to feel hungry because your body's expecting some nutrients, but you don't get any. It's just a disappointing experience. It tastes good for a few chews, but there's zero nutritional value. It actually fakes your body out. And I think that that can be what all of this social media and what, you know, AI generated stuff and what medication and disconnection ultimately does a fake connection tricks our bodies into thinking we're actually connected when at some point you realize there are no calories there are no nutrients and the body just craves more and eventually will stop working i know we're getting really deep in 259 something about me being at 40,000 feet between uh two other passengers funny story i'm between two other passengers because uh, i'm on a flight to el paso texas right now oh there's a little ding i hope you heard it flight to el paso texas I had a layover in Dallas. I was meeting up with a business partner, Kyle Mountsier. We're going to El Paso together. And my flight was so early that I was actually able to get on the earlier flight that he was going to get on. So I'm running through the airport, you know, and, and I'm like 
working up a sweat, my heart rates up, doing all that stuff, and uh, made it on the flight. But unfortunately, instead of my nice cozy aisle seat that I have, now I have a extra cozy middle seat. My bag had to be checked, so that's why I'm here. But honestly, if I was in the aisle seat, I wouldn't be recording this podcast right now. And so, if that is the if that is the nemesis, if it is disconnection, well, then who's the hero of the story? Who is who is the one? Who is the person? What is the figure? What is the concept that is going to break that down and not let that happen? And that's very simple. That is connection. That is human connection. And the coolest thing about human connection is it's a decision that we get to make every day. It's a choice that we get to make person by person, decision by decision, parent by parent, coworker by coworker. We get to choose to connect on a human level. Eye contact, personal notes visiting someone, spending some time together whenever possible. Now, I know that can be a Google Meet, that can be a Zoom call, but whenever possible, human connection. And so I hope that this community, and I know, because I know a lot of you, and I know the the vibe that we have going here, and that is one of connection. That is why we kind of pursue this clarity, pursue this perspective on life. And so I hope that you take this opportunity as a little reminder to don't fall prey, a reminder to not fall prey to the disconnection to the nemesis of the 21st century. And I think if we all do that together, we'll be much better for it. And um, I think that there's enough of us here that we can make a real difference. So you can start right now. Um, You don't have to wait. Send a text message. Make a phone call. Stop by and say hi to somebody. But let's make human connection a way forward. Let's stave off the nemesis of disconnection, even in the midst of all the technology. Let's use that technology, actually, to shove it right back in Disconnection's face and leverage that technology to connect on a human level even more. Thank you so much for being with me on this flight. I will see you next week. We can-